Now if you recall, I replaced a uh, bearing inside the deck for one of the blades a while back and I noticed it was really, really rusty inside um, underneath that panel. So I'm going to take that back off, power wash it, top and the underside as well, and then POR15 the deck to neutralize that rust and then replace the belt while I have it apart. Now look at all this nastiness. Now this is partly because I was pre going to wash the deck to get the grass out of it. But you see little pieces of grass stick in there which holds moisture, which is really eating away at that finish. So I'm gonna clean this out with a power washer and let it dry and put some POR15 on there and I'm going to do the underside as well. You know I just noticed I went to pull the belt off and this thing is so gummed up with nastiness and rust that the tensioner doesn't even have tension. Look at that. It just stays loose. Here's how the underside looks. I went ahead and uh, pulled the blades off and I did POR 15 the underside a few years back but uh, you can see it's just starting to peel in a few spots so might as well uh, wash it real well and do the whole thing again. Okay, I'm going to let this dry in the sun for a while and it's time for lunch. So now the underside is all cleaned off. Uh, there's still a little bit of grass left in a few spots and I'm going to go back now with a wire wheel and give it a good grind, get off any loose rust or any flaking POR15 from the last time I coated it. Alright, I've got this thing back inside here. I have let it dry. I grinded it down to get any scaling rust off or any flaking POR15 off. And I went ahead and blew it off with the compressor afterwards. And then I sprayed it down with some uh, wax and grease remover and wiped that off with a rag just to make sure I get any uh, leftover dirt or anything off. And that's going to create a good surface for the POR15 to adhere to. Here's a great example of how strong this stuff is. Um, there was some POR15 stuck around the lip here on the edge of the can and this lid would not come off. So I actually had to pry it off with uh, a pair of pliers and luckily I have a spare extra lid from another can. And also, you don't want to use it directly out of the can, you want to pour it into another container. And rather than pour it, I'm going to do as the directions suggest, suggest and make a scooper to actually scoop it out and dump it into the other can just so I don't get any POR15 down in here because if it's this hard to open which is a little bit right here it's, the lid would never come off if it's sealed all the way around so follow directions so I'm putting on the first coat you want to brush it on with light coats and you can do two coats and uh, it actually likes to stick to rust. So if you have a rusty surface like this, this is perfect for it. And you see I'm wearing gloves because this stuff will stain your hands for you know, well over a week. And it smells pretty, pretty bad, so I do it in a uh, well-ventilated area like a garage. Underside's done. Now I'm going to flip it over and repeat the process on the top. Uh, if you remember, the tensioner was right there before I took it off, uh, just so I'll be able to paint 
underneath where it is and get the underside of the tensioner as well. All done with the top side. I'm going to let this cure for a while and reassemble it, throw a new belt in there. I'm putting this back together and now that this is nice and clean, I'm going to show you what the problem was before. Um, somehow over the years the inside had just filled up with grass and there are some various drain holes here throughout. There's one down there, there's one down there, one in each by each uh, bearing and those get clogged up and more water stays inside and just kind of continues to uh, get worse and remember how rusty this was where the tensioner wouldn't even move well it's, it's a nice before and after that's how that's how it should work so we're good to go